Which of the following disturbances would require the most time to return to its original climax community? A. Two square kilometer of coniferous forest is buried in three meters of volcanic ash. B. Five square kilometers of grassland is plowed by a farmer and then left alone. C. Spring flooding submerges 50 meters on either side of a river in a temperate broadleaf forest. The flooding lasts five days. D. A hurricane causes widespread flooding and tree damage in a tropical wetland system. Well, remember, we talked about primary versus secondary ecological succession. And primary succession takes longer because in primary succession, you're starting out with no soil. You have to get those pioneer organisms like lichen and prokaryotes in there and wait for you know, weathering and breakdown of rocks and the creation of soil. So let's look for a situation that would result in, that would cause primary succession to have to occur. Which disturbance would result in primary succession? And the only disturbance that would do that is coverage with volcanic ash. This is the only disturbance that results in primary succession. In these other disturbances, the soil would still be intact. So reestablishment is quicker, and these would represent secondary succession. This would be primary ecological succession. The others represent situations that would, disturbances that would cause secondary ecological succession. So that concludes this lesson on educator.com. Thank you for visiting.